Hey everybody, Mariko Curry here, bringing you another episode of Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. Usually I start with showing off the portrait and uh, how many jig uh, jiggies we have in it before we start an episode, but the thing is, is that it's kind of a long trek from all the way over there and back over here, so I think I find it easier if we just like start right at the door, because this level is going to take a while. That's one of the things I kind of remember from my childhood about this level is how long this level actually takes. We start off by murdering someone, as well as starting off with a new move. These are the waddling boots. Chicken Legs wears them so you can safely wade through dangerous areas, like the swamp for a limited time. Okay, Chicken or er, Kazooie, let's go grab a pair. Great, now you are... Er, Great, now you know all the moves in this area. I got I, I got a hard time transitioning from... Uh, I don't even remember how I voiced, voiced bottles in the last uh, previous episode. Anyways. We got these things here. These weird golden... Alligators? I still haven't gotten an answer on that. Oh, crocodiles. Me want yummy eggs too. There's the waddle boots. Um, I believe there's something up here. Now for the longest time, again, this is another. I, I think that's gonna be a, a running theme in this in this uh, playthrough. Me just saying for the longest time I've, because I, I I remember a lot of stuff when I was younger about things, but uh, I forget what these were called. Um, at least I'm going by what I've heard in like Undertale because like I never really uh, remember the name of these but like I believe these are supposed to be the water sausages or whatever they are the things that show up in swamps um, but for a long time the way they look they kind of look like a <laughs> and, I, and this is gonna sound gross but they kind of look like used uh, very used uh, q-tips or cotton swabs yeah this is piranha's water Keep your smelly feet out! Yeah, that's pretty much the gimmick of this uh, level. The water around here is actually infested with uh, piranha, so you pretty much are trying to avoid going in there. Which, at some points of this area, there's it's kind of hard to do so. Nice with some more eggs. Ah, oh, you would just leave me only one left. But yeah, one of the things about this level that I, I kind of remember is that it kind of is kind of huge and takes a long time to actually complete that's mostly because of how you know they're they ha pretty much have separate islands for separate eggs and everything uh, we could technically take that well no let's take the, the the leaf first so we can get up here get this mobile token now let's get the boots which play a funny tune by the way boop, 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 boop. I don't know if it does make you go faster, but I usually try to jump while wearing these things because I feel like you move a bit slower when you're just running with them, really. Anyways, we want to get them so we can get those notes right there because if we can technically use the uh, the golden feathers to actually go through there, but I find it e uh, you use less golden feathers to actually, and you don't you don't risk run the risk of running out. Uh, if you just use the uh, the boots instead. Anyways, we got like this. I forget the name of those things, but it's those uh, Russian toys. The uh, I I know they're called like some some weird Russian name dolls, or the you, there's just an egg uh, or a person inside of a person inside of another person, which just leads to going to uh, becoming a tiny person inside of it. I don't know. But that's pretty much the case there with the uh, eggs. Besides the, uh, I won't say that this level is bad, it's, it is definitely memorable for, I think, two reasons. Uh, and we'll, I'll mention them when we get to them, but, uh, for now let's start with this. You pretty much have to race all the way up to that jiggy, uh, jiggy piece all the way up there. While having to run as fast as possible, usually with talent trot. 
And also have them to deal with very... Ow. Oh, of course we're going to start with this. Uh, it's already too far in for me to actually give voices to. We are pretty much just fighting very strong versions of these uh, the red frogs in this level. You know what, let's use this timer as our timer for beating these guys. I'm probably going to already fail. I think there's only three of them. Oh, come on. I'm not playing leapfrog here. I'll be young and tooty old before you get Gruntilda's gold. Again, transitioning from different voices is kind of hard for me to do. Except for Undertale and Cave Story. I apparently are, am very good at keeping the voices for those pretty controlled. It's just that the, the characters here in uh, Banjo-Kazoo are kind of more weird for me to actually keep, uh, keep record of. The thing is that you expect these frogs to actually attack you. That's why it's kind of hard for me to actually fight them because they keep jumping away. Or jumping over me. You know what? I'm done with this. Where? They asked for it, really. Ugh, you're too tough for us, Flibbits. Take our gold. Well, that was just a mess. How appropriate that we're in a swamp. Anyways, let's try that again. Uh, I want to go for those for that golden feather, but eh. Anyways, let's get that jiggy piece back. Like I said, this is kind of annoying because of how you you definitely are on a very strict, or at least if I remember, it was very strict uh, time limit, and you have to pretty much run through this place with uh, the town trot, which is kind of hard to do because you move quickly that's good but the you kind of have to move meticulously in order to make sure that you don't fall off I think I'd rather use Banjo right here and got it okay maybe it wasn't like a strict time limit but when you got to make sure you don't fall off or actually no it's I think it was because if you fall off you pretty much already failed because you only have enough time to actually make it there uh, if you take your time not too much, but still. Anyways, let's grab this Jinjo. Um, get the rest of these notes. And I believe this is actually the next the next world that actually has a Mumbo hut here, so we'll definitely get to cash in these things. I think it's actually good that we act we did this first before we started going through all the other islands because if I remember correctly we want to get this guy on our way so that way we don't need to come back up here. With that there's the next one on top of a bunch of huts on top of trees for some reason. Uh, let's see, where should we go next? I think we want to go here. Yeah, I think over here to t uh, Tip Tup's uh... Oh, my feet are so numb and cold. Let's just stomp on them. Oh, that's much better. I like how he says that right after he makes like a kind of a painful, painful noise. Just listen to him. That does not sound relaxing. That sounds more like brutal. I'm gonna take the hit. I don't think there's anything else out there that we need. In fact, why is there an island there? Huh. I guess it's just to fight that guy? Anyways, before we do anything... Oh, no, there's just boots. Never mind. Anyways, let's just grab this uh, last note and get this guy's foot in. Mm, tank top's warm at last. Perhaps you'd like this. I like how he just keeps his mouth open, inviting, in, just pretty much inviting you into his stomach. And oddly, we're going to accept it. Just to find out that there, there's more turtles living inside him! Cannibal! Anyways, 
So let's grab the notes that are in here. And making his return from Banjo from Diddy Kong Racing alongside uh, Banjo and technically Conker, because Conker was also in that game. Tip Tub. Quiet, please. The famous Tip Tub Choir will now perform my latest work. Whatever you say, Squidward. Bit short, isn't it, Shellboy? Well, see, copy that, what you just heard for lesson one. Before we do that, we actually want to grab... Oh, dear. Forgotten already? Here it is again. No! No! All I wanted was just the honeycomb! Fine, we'll do your stupid choir. By stomping on their heads. Hmm, not too bad. Try a lesson two. Wow, that is so hard. Light cyan, blue cyan, blue purple. Ah, splendid. You just need one more lesson. Okay, that one was a that one looks a little bit trickier, but if I remember correctly, I think it's red, blue. Ah, oh, crap! I already forgot. Pink or purple? I think it's purple. Then blue again or pink? I know it's one of those two. Maybe it's blue. No, I think it was pink. No, that's not right. Try again and ask me to repeat the lesson. Do we have to repeat the whole thing? I swear, God. I knew you need to see this one again. Shut up. Red, blue, purple. Pink, right, okay. Blue, and then red, and then yellow. And we got the honeycomb. Good. Okay. Red. Blue. Purple! Pink? Oh crap, I think it was blue. Dang it! I already forgot. Yeah, shut up, shell boy. Alright, we got it. There, I gave all your students headaches in the name of music. Magnificent. A true masterpiece. Here, take this trinket I found earlier. You know, this is kind of a missed opportunity for him to say... Or well, then again, this is uh, Microsoft, Microsoft's version. I, he could have said that, here, take this trinket I won in a race. So much lost potential. Anyways, now that we're out of his mouth. Kind of wasted time in there m messing up those things. Anyways, let's just continue on. I believe I don't need anything for this one. At least I, th I don't think so. Woohoo! I already got the grunty switch early this time. Ha! Ah, we blew up her pointy hat. 
Backflip of justice! Woohoo! There's that crocodile. This one's a little bit faster, and it is possible to get like right in front of him, but I kind of challenge myself in trying to get it from here. Okay. Got him. And the last one's gonna be over there where we're gonna head to last, so. It's actually appropriate that we did this in the right order. Grab that. Backflip of justice! Bring us up to six. And I don't believe there's anything else to do here. I think we can get something like on the top part of this, but I'm not exactly sure. I don't think we can. I don't think so, and the camera's kind of freaking out, so I'm getting out of here. We're not going to abandon these items, but there is an easier way to get them later on, so might as well skip on, on them right now. We got everything over there, over there. So yeah, we're all good to set, uh, set up to go this way. Doing this. Oh. Uh, got the last one over here. At least I think this is the last one. Could be wrong about that. You little bastard. You die. Anyways. Also, you can technically get hurt by them. Nope, he wasn't the last one. Ah, uh, we should have done that one last then. Um. Alright, you know what? I think we're only going to have enough time to finish that guy off and then just finish off the rest in a different video. So, might as well go do that real quick and end it off. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say, though. I think I was in the middle of saying something, but I don't remember what. Oh, yeah. These uh, golden uh, crocodile things, they technically can hurt you if you... Uh... We did not mean to kill them, but okay, whatever. Whatevs. Ah, missed. Got to move it a little bit more this way. All right. Ah, okay. Ah. Oh, come on. Got him. And that's why that spot was there. All right. Anyways, let's grab that. Now with that, we got seven Jiggies. If only I had enough time, I would actually try to finish this off in, in this whole video, but I want to keep these videos at least 20 minutes long. Or at least as close as I can to be 20 minutes. Because I, I I have no idea why. I kind of just got used to doing it 20 minutes. I, I will do like very long episodes if need be, but I just feel it's better just keep them at the same time every time. Same time every time. Same bad channel, same bad time, whatever. But I think before we finish it off, because there is a few more minutes, might as well get these things up here so that way we can finish this off, finish off this level uh, a bit sooner. Can I make it? Can I make it? Can I make it? Didn't make it. We're gonna need some health soon. Got it. I don't believe you can get bot. Oh no, wait, there's bo there's not bottles. There's uh boots at the top of the alligator's head we can get to. Ouch. There you go. I just really want to get this done ahead of time because I know that I can get a lot of stuff done or finished in the next episode if I get all this right now instead of later. I mean, we have the extra time, so might as well. I think they only give you enough time to actually make it. Uh, 
Alright. And with that, I think we'll be good for now. So, let me just get into position on this on this crocodile. I think that's the whole gimmick of this world. It's not alligators, it's crocodiles. I think I'll finish off this episode here. Being stared at by this intimidating alligator. Or crocodile. God damn it. Anyways. So, with that, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel. White little button. Red! Red, damn it! Red little button, give me a good thumbs up review down below this video, and check out my other parts if you like this one. In the next part, we're going to finish off Bubble Gloop Swamp, access a secret area, and I guess set up for the next level, because there's really not much left here in this world. So, I will see you guys next time. I almost dropped my controller at the end of the episode. Later.